All right, so as you remembered, hopefully, it's been a while, we've now arrived in Armadillo. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. Hmm. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Okay. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. I shall. I shall. Oh. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Call in the Dr. Jones. Hi there. Medicine. Electric belts. If you need to lose weight. Electric belts. Talk to Bonnie outside the general store. Bonnie, I got my medicine. Let's go, Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. Huh? And the little company never hurts now and again. Nope. You're more than welcome, miss. Mm -hmm. Least I can do. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? What? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. What if I don't I want? Just do that. Travel safely, miss. What if I don't want? Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Oh, you're so funny. Oh. Well, what if I don't want to stay here? I mean, I could stay here, but what if I don't want to? If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Cool. Stitch coach. Ready when you are, mister. Get on in. Cool. Okay. Gotta tell you, never really driven one of these before. Okay, uh. go ahead. Drive. Why aren't you moving? You cannot utilize stagecoach travel unless you have enough money to pay for the journey. I don't have any money, do I? No! You suck balls, Bonnie. You know that, Bonnie? You suck balls. Hello, sir. Hello. Grab a horse! Horsey, where are you? Horsey! We want to go all the way back to Hennigan's stead. Is I think how you pronounce it. This horse is slow as hell. Rawr. If you do the online, um, you get a donkey. Well, a mule. It's so slow, though. I don't like the donkey. It's even slower than the horse. But I'm a higher rank now, so I have a shitty horse now. More so than a donkey. A shitty horse is better than a donkey, though. Hiya! Right on, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Shit, my horse hates me right now. It's because you're slow as frig, horse. Horse with the white bum bum. Yeah, we're almost there, I think. This place is mighty party. Mighty party. Dude, I feel kinda hungry. I do. Stop putting tutorials in the corner! I'm not even reading them! <gasps> Ooh, I'm tired. It's been quite the day. And I'm getting Lego Harry Potter. Hee hee hee! pre-ordered it, so. Is that a kitty? It's a kitty! Hi, kitty! Come back, kitty. The frig? Kitty? Oh, damn it. I've never seen a kitty in this game before. 
Holy crap, kitty. Holy crap. Watch out! We're back! I'm back, Bonnie McFarlane. You thought you got rid of me. Because I am John Marston, is it? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, man, yeah. What's up? Women and cattle. Interesting. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. Hmm. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Huh. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. I'm not a fool. Call Bonnie. me Bonnie. Call me Bonnie. You like Mr. Marston, don't you? Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. Wow, straight up. I had up. a daughter, but she died. Aww. Years before that, I rode in a gang. Hmm. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. Wow. We killed people we didn't like. Hmm. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, mm -hmm. great harm will befall my family. Mm hmm now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. I see. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. That rhymes. In this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. Oh. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. Hmm. My mother died during childbirth. Yikes. She Life was a sucks, huh? And he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. Mm. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Random. Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> oh, great. Sure. Point me in the right direction. This way. Let's go. Which one's mine? What the frig? They both look the same. Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Sure. Hurry up. Beep beep. Yeah. Yeah. You're not even going that fast. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Hey there. 
Hey there. Hello, mister. Is he charm humanity? 